YouTube man, it's Gabriel to another fan TV. Back at you another video. Let the content is real. Go ahead and smash that like button. Let the content of this channel, man. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Look, uh, you know it's Wednesday, so we gotta do that Ravens injury report. The Ravens have quite a few guys that's uh, DMP at practice today. Um, but, you know, the main guy is obviously uh, Lamar Jackson. But so let's get into the injury report. Let's talk about it, who's there and who's not. All right. So uh, DMP, Lamar Jackson, Calais Campbell, um, Tristan Colon, Justin Houston, but that's rest. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, uh, Morgan Moses, another guy that's rest. Marcus Peters and Jason Pierre Paul, Kevin Zeitler, both rest. As far as guys who are limited, Ronnie Stanley uh, is part of his training program. I you know he's resting too. Geno Stone with a hamstring injury that, that, that popped up. And Kevon Seymour, I believe, who left the game last week is uh, or a couple weeks ago, um, is back practicing in full. Okay? So that's pretty much the Ravens injury report. What the? That's Katie. Say hi to the people. You want to get there with your mama now? All right, we back, man, after a special guest appearance from Katie. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep that in there. Uh, so, basically, what I want to talk about is, yeah, I went to the injury report. You have some guys arrest. Um, you know, illness with Deshaun Jackson. Uh, so, we'll see what happens with that. You know, Marcus Pizzo has his calf injury. Tristan Cologne had a personal reason. Uh, Calais Campbell still out. Uh, but the real reason I want to talk about is Lamar Jackson. And maybe it should be a little worrying. Uh, just because the fact that, you know, he's missing practice. And there seems to be a disconnect between him and the coach staff, at least, right? So, I don't really like to do rumors and speculations and stuff like that, but there was a rumor that he's been quote unquote skipping, you know, treatment and stuff like that. Now, Lamar Jackson has never been the type of player to do anything like that before in the past. I don't think he would start now, uh, but usually when these kind of rumors come up, it's, it's never good news. So, um, there was another report that said, you know, these type of rumors aren't vetted and stuff like that. So, it's just, it is what it is. But then you got John Harbaugh saying, like, you know, when, when um, the reporters ask him for uh, clarification on what's going on with Lamar Jackson, you know, he just gives a, a answer that just doesn't help. He says that I'm just focused on coaching the guys that's here, right? Now, when you say something like that, it makes it seem like Lamar Jackson doesn't want to be here or that he's not here but doing his own personal choosing. When he could have just said that, you know, he's still dealing with the knee injury, it's taking a little longer than we expected or whatever like that, and leave it at that, right? But now with that extra little bit in there, it leaves it open for speculation, right? Uh, so this is Lamar Jackson's like 10th missed practice in a row. Um, you know, the injury scale, the injury, not scale, but the injury timeline, excuse me, was one to three weeks. So now we're at week four, you know what I mean? So no injuries, all injuries aren't the same and things like that, but it is something that to be, keep a note of and be worried about, right? Uh, Lamar Jackson, I don't think he would hold out in the middle of the season or anything like that. If he did, hey, it's, you know, it's his decision. But it's just a simple fact that whatever's going on, him and the Ravens don't seem to be on the same accord. Because if they were, you know, a coach would just, even if it technically wasn't the truth, he would say something that would be covering for the player, right? Um, just saying something like, you know, I'm going to coach the guys that's here, it leaves way too much in the air. It leaves way too much room for people to... Uh, speculate and argue about what's going on and um, it's just something that leads to unnecessary kind of drama, right? Now, uh, with that being said, you know, uh, Tyler Huntley's not on the injury report at all like he was last week. So Tyler Huntley's probably going to be the Ravens quarterback, I would assume, going into this Sunday's game, this Sunday night game uh, versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, you know, it is what it is on that front. Now, um, there's two ways to look at it, right? You could say that this Lamar Jackson thing is nothing um that you know they're holding them out for the playoffs they, they've already clinched the playoffs who cares about winning the division if it happens it happens if it doesn't you're already in who cares right you know that's a that's a fair way to look at it or you can look at it and say hey, something something more is happening here there's a disconnect clearly um and these guys are on the same page and that's something that, that that's to be worried about because all we've known about for lamar jackson is that he wants to be on the field right you can't keep him off the field and you know, that, that seems to be a little different right now. And I don't blame him for it. Hey, you know, you got to get your money. Ravens should have paid him in all season. Ravens should have paid him two years ago. You know, so. Um, but, yeah, that, that's the Ravens injury report. Just a couple of thoughts about the Lamar Jackson, the situation, and things like that. Um, it is something that, that we're going to have to keep an eye on, man, you know. Um, hopefully, he's back next week. But as the way things are going right now, I would say everything is up in the air. We don't know how it goes. We really don't. Um, maybe he's showing the Ravens his importance, you know, when, when he's not out there. Um, 
you can say with Joe Matala Hanley and things like that, he's, he's not Lamar Jackson. And, um, you know, I've been a clear, clear advocate of the Ravens paying Lamar Jackson, getting him better talent. So, you know, if the Ravens ultimately end up losing them, they have nobody else to blame but themselves, you know. In 2020, they could have fired Greg Roman when it was clear that um, Lamar and the entire office wanted to go in a different direction from Hollywood Brown's tweets and everybody else. You know, there's Willie Snead, Steve Smith, all kinds of articles coming out about how this offense just isn't that good and things like that. Um, if you wanted to make your, true, your QB truly happy, 2020 was the year to do it, and they didn't do it, you know, and that's what it is. So, uh, but look, that's your Ravens uh, injury report for this uh, Wednesday, you know, as more stuff comes up, we'll talk about it in man. Uh, let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. All right, it's your boy Gabe, which is another fan TV. I'm out.